Hi, this is Do Daniels with DoDaniels.com, and I just felt kind of compelled to put together this short video. It's just going to outline something that I have written on my whiteboard in my home office, but I was thinking about this because I just watched a video that was very influencing, and it lets me know, you know, if anybody knows how the subconscious mind and the conscious mind works, you know that I, I, I talk about this quite a bit, but I want to really point this out to people so that you really get the, the picture of this. So when you're living your life, you have certain thoughts and we're going to say think. People think that when I tell you think, think, think is means, you know, you know, start to thinking about a problem or thinking about something. But really thinking is based on your thoughts. So you have certain thoughts and these thoughts are what you think. And when you have these thoughts, you subconsciously take on certain actions so that it subconsciously leads you to what you do. All right. So, you know, even though you want to become a millionaire, you're really thinking of how hard life is, how poor you are, how tough of a situation you've come from in life and how you've given it your all and you're just based at at a mediocre stage of your life so those are the thoughts you really have even though you want to become financially successful so your actions because you're thinking you know negative thoughts you do the opposite of what you might be thinking you're really thinking that's why there's a famous quote by uh, one of my mentors that says you know 98 percent of the people 90% of the people think that they're thinking then 5% um, no 5% think that they are thinking 90% would rather die than to think and 2% are actually thinking so you have to be in control of those thoughts if you're going to have any success in your actions so if you are having these thoughts subconsciously you need to change the thoughts because they're going to give you what you do now, what you do on a daily basis, on a habitual basis, is eventually going to give you the things that you have. And have, people always think of just possessions. I have a car. I have a house. I have a nice garden in my house. I have, you know, a big job or I have an old job, whatever it is. It's going to give you those results in what you have. Now, what you have goes back to your thoughts and it recycles this thing, right? I'm poor. I do poor activities. I have poor belongings. Therefore, I'm poor. I do poor activities. I have poor material possessions. I'm poor. And you become what you think. You are a poor bastard. You're a poor bum. You're a poor English teacher. You're a poor construction worker. You are a poor broke architect. You are a poor broke internet marketer. You are a pro poor broke husband, wife, whatever it is. You become that starting based on what you were thinking and what you think. So let's clear this board out now. So we're going to go through this again. Now let's say you start to think positive. You start to think of how things can work for you instead of why they cannot work. And you tell yourself consciously that you are getting better every day at the, at the goals and the desires you want. That you're great at the things you put effort towards doing. And as you think these thoughts, you begin to go out and do them. So now you're taking actions that you normally never took because you never thought to take them. And after you start taking actions, certain results start to change in your life. You begin to have the health that you want because you start to think yourself healthy. And by thinking healthy, you start to clean up your eating habits. You started to clean up your sleep habits 
drink habits. And so you start to do these things as a result of what you were thinking. I'm healthy. I take good care of myself. I take good care of my family. And the results of that thinking now has led you to do better things. Smoothie. You picked up an apple instead of a cookie. You picked up a salad mixed with chicken and you left the bread off so you didn't get the hamburger. You did the salad and you didn't dulse it with fattening types of dressing. So now you're doing better. Therefore, you have better health. You have better um, you know, strength. You have better material. You started to do better actions. You started to do some things business-wise that you stopped thinking poor about. And so you began to have more money. You were able to buy better cars, better things. You better have to have more to give to the poor. You were better able to have more and you became what you wanted to become a successful architect, a successful internet marketer, a successful professional basketball player, a successful school teacher, a successful. So this is the pattern in which you must follow and you must consciously do it. Now, how do you do this? You have to have to have to change things consciously. You have to stop doing habits that you were doing before that were not leading you or rewarding you with what you wanted the end goal to be. So you have to consciously stop doing those habits. For instance, if you are someone who reads the Bible line upon line, then you know that, okay, there's certain foods that I don't eat anymore according to uh, Leviticus chapter 11. Now, I'm not preaching the Bible here, but what I'm, I'm just making a very spiritual observation that if you think healthier, and think keeping the ways of the God, then you do. You stop eating certain foods that are against dietary provisions. Therefore, you will have better spiritual health and better physical health. And what's the big pow? Pow! You become a better child of God. Okay? If you're a business owner, think success. I have a successful business. I do the successful things for business. I advertise well for my business. You think these healthy thoughts, you start to do those healthy thoughts, you start to have those healthy results. Pow! You become a successful business owner. Now this thinking process is automatic. You don't have to go back and redo it. Think. You think healthy. I'm healthy. I know the doctor thought that I had diabetes, type 2, but I am a healthy vessel. I have a totally healthy body. And when you start to think about that, you associate with other healthy people. And they tell you the things that made them healthy. And you start to do those things that made them healthy. Then you become healthy. The pow, you're a healthy person. And that's the process. What people get caught in is that they're thinking that they're thinking by saying, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm healthy. And then emotionally, they don't get involved in it, so they don't do the healthy things. And they start to say, it's not working for me. What? That's thinking right there. It's not working for me. Therefore, they go back to doing their regular habits that the unconscious mind wants them to do. They have the negative results. The pow is they stay sick, they stay broke, they stay unhappy. They have bad relationships, all because they were thinking that things never work out for me. This opportunity doesn't work. Um, I'm going to try this out. Try, I gave it a, sh a little shove. Didn't work. I have no results. Pow. Opportunities online don't work. Natural health doesn't work. All these things don't work. It's a based on the way you think. And you have to clean that up by knowing this process that what you think about is going to be what you do. It's going to lead to what you have. It's going to lead to who you become. And you can change it if you just change the opening set of thinking. So um, this was, to me, a very 
eye opening experience. I've been using this for the last two or three years and gradually everything in life has just gotten brighter and better in life. And it starts with how you think it starts to become natural if you just consciously force it upon yourself. So what I would suggest is, first of all, you get around people who are positive. You get around people who think like this. You get around listening to audios all day. You stop listening to the news. You stop listening to the radio music videos that help program you in a certain way. And you get to listening to tapes that help reform the thoughts that you have. And you get to listening to things that are going to give you a better spiritual understanding of yourself. And that way you can start to get this psyche, this way of thinking into your subconscious mind so that you can now focus on the desires that you want. And that'll be what you think about. Uh, that'll be what you think about. And as you focus on those desires and wants and needs that you want, you'll begin to do them. You'll begin to have them and you'll become what you think. We are not what we think about, but what we think about we are. So I am Do Daniels. I'm inviting you to get on my newsletter, Life's a Game to Win, at DoDaniels.com or Life's a Game to Win.com. And follow along with our journey about thinking and improving our lives, playing this life as a game. And I tell you, if you do it that way, you can come up with some very good strategies to help you absolutely succeed in life. So I hope this was beneficial for you. God bless. Peace.